Hi, I'm Scott Whittle, and today I'd like to talk about one of the most important and exciting features of the Warbler Guide, the vocalization sections. For the Warbler Guide, we did a considerable amount of original research and study and created a whole new system for learning bird calls and songs. Towards the beginning of our guide, we have a couple of introductory sections that help explain how we use our system and apply it to bird sounds. We strongly encourage the reader to go through these sections before they use the rest of the sound portion of the book. It may seem slightly complex at first, but we think that you'll find after a little bit of study, it will make a lot of sense. I personally use the system to greatly improve my retention and understanding of bird sounds, and I'm sure it will have the same effect for you. At the heart of the system is the analysis of a bird's song and the process of breaking it down into different parts, what we call elements, phrases, and sections. By being able to count the number of elements or phrases or sections of the song, we can separate two similar songs or find diagnostic information that will help us with an ID. The sonograms draw a picture of the sound and let us look carefully at all its important components, and the combination of hearing a song and seeing it on the page can be a very effective way for remembering it in the field. In addition, we have extensive notes about the song and also show specific points that we think are important to listen for. This goes far beyond the traditional guide's use of simple mnemonics or short phrases to try and describe the song verbally, which we've found to be largely ineffective. We've also created comparison pages that show similar songs, so it's much easier to take a look at these two songs and then figure out why they're different, and then apply that in the field. Another important inclusion in our book are chip and flight calls, where as many birders are relatively familiar with warbler songs, which are often given in migration and on the breeding grounds, Chip and flight calls are short vocalizations, chips and chirps, that can be very useful to identify a bird. In our chip and flight call finders, we have extensive notes on each chip and flight call, as well as comparison groupings that help figure out a way to learn these short and tricky vocalizations. We feel confident that this new system of learning sound is going to help birders vastly improve their ability to identify birds with or without seeing them. Thanks for watching, and welcome to the Warbler Guide.